Well, there are two other words that we should consider with the topic of honesty and integrity. And they are wicked and righteous. Wicked and righteous. But there are too many instances of those words for us to deal with that together. Uh, we'd be here, we, we'd be here for nights, okay? So I just want to give you a quick synopsis of each of those words from the book of Proverbs. The word wicked. There are 110 instances in the book of Proverbs where the word wicked is used. And in the book of Proverbs, the wicked are described as those who reject God and reject God's ways. They do not seek wisdom, but they choose their own desires and they choose their own pleasures instead. They can hurt others with their words, their actions, and their example. But in the end, they are people of little impact and importance. Remember we talked, uh, what was the, the word we defined? Talked about a uh, person of significance, person of weight. The wicked aren't that. The wicked aren't that. And they will die separated from God and reap their just rewards. There are 88 instances of the word righteous in Proverbs. And they are described as those who seek God, believe in God, pursue God, and respond to his wisdom by seeking wisdom, applying wisdom, and living in wisdom. They walk the path that God sets before them instead of a path of their own making or choosing. The righteous are not insulated from all problems or difficulties, but they have the assurance that God is with them through those problems and difficulties and that God will reward them if they remain faithful. That's how Proverbs describes the wicked and the righteous.